Pump.com today. Use promo code WATER and save 10% off your Pro Pure purchase. Or call 1 888 253 3139. I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals sourced from powerful organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I just received my Male Vitality about three days ago, and I must say that is good stuff. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula super male vitality by infowars life is so powerful that i only take half the recommended dose i jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day i look forward to waking up and taking my super male vitality and get the day started it's not just the super male vitality all the products at infowarslife.com are simply amazing visit infowarslife.com today to secure your super male vitality and other powerful products from infowars life I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. Most people know that iodine deficiency has been a crisis around the world. Iodine is key to so many of the body's functions, especially the thyroid. I discovered a product being developed by Dr. Group. You now know it as Survival Shield True Nascent Iodine that your body can really absorb. Then, about a year ago, he said, listen, if you think this is powerful, I'm going to come out with rare earth, deep earth crystals. And the results that I personally have had have been life-changing. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. This is innovating, and the best part is it helps fund InfoWars.com, the radio show, the TV show, the whole media operation promoting true libertarian ideas. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. Take advantage of this unprecedented 30% off Super Detox Special at InfoWarsLife.com. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel body armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. I'm David Hall, founder of Diamond Gusset, where we are proud of our 100% grown and sewn American-made jeans. Whether you're out for dinner, working on the farm, or on the road, Diamond Gusset Jeans offers a full spectrum of style and sizes for any occasion. Our loyal customers enable us to continue sponsoring Liberty Media Outlets. Use promo code FREEDOM to receive a 15% discount at gusset.com. In Liberty, David Hall, Diamond Gusset Jean Company. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Hello, this is Hank Hill, and I'm telling you what, you need to listen to Alex Jones. <coughs> Infoworth.com. <coughs> <coughs> Live from Austin, Texas, broadcasting worldwide, it's Alex Jones. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight here live in studio on this Sunday, August 10th, 2014. Now, earlier in the show, Alex was with us. He's on the road, and he was breaking down what's going on in Iraq with the Obama bombings, the latest new war that he's starting against ISIS. Is this something that is a reaction to something that's new, or is this something that's been going on for quite some time, as he pointed out? He's going to break that down. We're going to play that report in just a moment here. We're also talking about the Nixon resignation, which was 40 years ago yesterday. There's an interesting story that was up on Drudge today. Public trust in government hits new lows. This is a poll conducted by the University of Michigan. And this is something they've been doing for about 50 years. Going back to the 1960s, they say consistently they found that the majority of Americans thought that they could trust government most or all the time. So that's how you get people like Richard Nixon. And, and they said, until Watergate. In 1972, 53% of them trusted the government always or most of the time. But that quickly switched to 1974. That figure plummeted to just 36%. 
And except for a brief period of patriotic sentiment immediately after 9-11, hmm, it has remained under 50% ever since. Now, where is it today? Well, today it's at 13%. 13%, the lowest it's ever been. So, yes, that's a good sign, I think, because it was Patrick Henry who told us, trust no one but bind them down with the chains of the Constitution. Obama doesn't believe that he's bound down with any chains of the Constitution. So I want to get your take on this. Do you trust the government? Probably not if you listen to this broadcast. Uh, I want to get your take, though, on impeachment. I want to talk about the Nixon resignation, how you see that in comparison to what's going on today, as well as ISIS, right after Alex Jones's report. Let me give you that number. That's 877 789 Alex. It's a different number on Sunday. Once again, that's 877 789 Alex. Now, here's Alex's report that we ran on the nightly news on Friday about ISIS. Well, late yesterday, the Obama administration authorized military strikes to prevent what they say was a potential act of genocide against a religious minority, as well as to protect U.S. interests in Iraq. Now, a Kurdish news agency reported that hundreds of IS terrorists were killed in the Pentagon operation that took place there early this morning. Now, of course, the administration has been under intense scrutiny for the president's foreign policy failures, and with many people pointing a finger at his decision to pull the troops out of Iraq in the first place. Earlier this week, one Iraqi in the area cried to the world, there is no one coming to help. Well, today America is coming to help. We're also consulting with other countries and the United Nations who have called for action to address this humanitarian crisis. Now, flash forward two years, and we see that that statement wasn't entirely true. ISIS has been able to, just in a matter of months, destroy all of the gains made by our troops there in Iraq. And, of course, perfectly timed with Obama announcing these strikes. He goes on vacation. Trust in government is at an all-time low. Only 13% of Americans trust the government to do what is right always or most of the time, with more than three-quarters saying Maybe they can be trusted some of the time, and 10%, 10% of the population says the government can never be trusted. Now, this is just, these are insane numbers. We don't even remember a time that trust in the government has been this low. And now we have ISIS, who we've been watching them destroying large swaths of Iraq. They've been all over Twitter, showing their beheadings and things like that. And our focus has been on other things, Gaza, Russia, Syria, the border. No one is talking about the literal terrorists that are taking over Iraq. Now ISIS is directing threats directly to America. They say that they're going to raise the flag of Allah in the White House. And then they go on taunting uh, America, saying, don't be cowards and attack us with drones. Instead, send your soldiers, the ones we humiliated in Iraq. See, so they're basically saying, you know, come on with your, don't bring your drones, bring your troops. And this is one of those situations where America can actually say, bring the drones. We've been watching them driving in. But, you know, the president just wants to go drone people in Pakistan and big wedding parties in Yemen. Now, this administration has been itching to go to war, first with Syria, then with Russia. Meanwhile, we have been watching literal terrorists take over Iraq. They've taken over large swaths of Iraq. There have been public executions, beheadings, killing Christians. Why did it take the president so long to say, you know, Maybe we might strike these guys. In fact, he's talking to terrorists, saying, "If you guys get a little too close, then we're gonna then we're gonna drone you." We've ended the war in Iraq. I've kept the commitments that I've made. I told you we'd end the war in Iraq. We did. Remind them that this is the president that ended the war in Iraq. Joining me now in studio to further break down this current bombing campaign Obama is embarking upon in Iraq against ISIS, Alex Jones. Leanne, this is one of the biggest stories of our age because it's hiding in plain view. It's even hiding in the front page of major newspapers, but the media won't point out how sensationally evil this is that the West, the United States, Saudi Arabia, uh, Israel, and so many other groups through NATO and others are arming IS, Islamic State, or ISIS as it was known. This is simply a branding change from Al Qaeda because the West was caught funding them in Syria the last three years to IS. So we're going to show people the mainline documentation 
that it is our government at the front of the line with France and so many others, England's involved as well, Turkey's involved, literally turning loose a group that is murdering Christians from Africa to Iraq to Syria to Egypt. And now Obama has the nerve to claim he's bombing them. So we're going to break down exactly what's behind all of this. First off, here is a map of the ethnic breakdown and religious breakdown uh, currently in Iraq. You notice the areas in green are Shia. This borders Iran. Iran is a Shia state to the east of Iraq. Uh, then you have uh, this area that's basically a desert, no man's land, influenced by Saudi Arabia and Kuwait to a great extent. Then you have the Sunni Arab group bordering Syria to the west. And then you have the Kurdish area in this area of northern Iraq. Now, the Pentagon, the globalists have been on record for a long time saying that the takedown of Saddam in 1991, the, the second takedown in 2003, was about destabilizing a stable country and bringing in destabilization forces and breaking the country in three parts. Why is IS now being bombed after three plus years of being given weapons from Benghazi and other areas by the Pentagon, by NATO, by Qatar, by Saudi Arabia, and by all these other factors to literally kill more than 300,000 people, launch chemical attacks, you name it, against the Assad regime who did nothing to anybody uh, in Syria? They were allowed to come in, in the last six months, invade Iraq, take major cities. The entire time this was happening, even months ago, the Pentagon would not bomb their convoys with their predator drones. They would leave right, them So this be, is Alex claiming, Jones oh, on the Nightly News from Friday night. We're going to continue with this report in the next segment. He's going to conclude what he's talking about with ISIS, break that down, what the, where the threat really comes from, and what's behind all of this. Now, we've also got some news that we're going to be covering. We have a riot that broke out in Missouri after a shooting. Essentially, as it was reported by an eyewitness, a young man with his hands up, although he was fleeing from the police, he was no threat to the police, he was shot 10 times and died. There was a huge crowd there. We also have news about the UK border staff are threatening to strike, to stand down, because they said we don't have any protection whatsoever at the border. Essentially, they are the picket line. Uh, if they see something, see somebody coming in, they're sick, as they did a few weeks ago. They had someone come into, I think it was either Gatwick or Heathrow. I think it was Gatwick. Uh, someone came in vomiting and collapsed. Everybody was very much afraid of that. She'd come in, I think, from an area that was suspected. So we see this happening at the UK borders. We see our borders completely open. We see them standing down. And yet, we see the rules of engagement internally in the country is being stepped up. We're going to talk about that and take your calls at 877-789-ALEX on impeachment on ISIS. We'll be right back with the conclusion of Alex Jones's report. I can, like, taste dirt in it. God knows what's in this. These people just sampled City of Austin tap water straight from the faucet. Next, we had them try a sample of tap water filtered through the ProPure G2.0 filtration system. That one is better. Tastes like nothing. Yep, I know what good water tastes like. It's good water. Most tap water contains added substances like fluoride, chlorine, glyphosate, and many others. Studies prove that these substances are linked to an assortment of major health issues, including tooth decay, lowered IQ, and even cancer. It tastes like you're drinking out of the lake when you're drinking tap water. The ProPure G2.0 filtration system removes these deadly substances, leaving only fresh tasting, deliciously clean water. Okay, this is very tasty. It's good water. Refreshing. It's good. Go to InfoWarsStore.com today and get your free wire stand with the purchase of a ProPure big water filtration system or call 1-888-253-3139. This is Alex Jones for InfoWarsLife.com. The latest in preparedness is now here. An electrically stabilized colloidal silver solution that can be added to both your home cabinet and preparedness pack alike. Concentrated to 30 parts per million in what has been dubbed the Survival Silver Solution. The new InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver is the answer for you and your family. And it's entirely free of toxic artificial additives that are loaded into many products. The InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Silver is so powerful that it is concentrated into a two-ounce bottle and is not recommended 
intended for extended continual use. This is not a low-grade formula. We are working with one of the top laboratory manufacturers in the United States to bring you the best form of colloidal silver using electrical processes within a base of deionized water for your preparedness storage or your home kitchen.